Ah, what a peaceful night on Minecraft. Beautiful. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh. Aren't you just sick and tired of that happening? Dying to creepers in the night? Well, let there be light, because I got a solution. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Source Code. My name is Deshaun, and in this video... Also, let me, like, open up my blinds. I, like, closed it for that really funny intro. It was, probably wasn't even funny. Okay, everyone. Welcome back to the Source Code. Uh, I open up my blinds, so it's a little less dreary. Dreary in here. In this, in this video, it might be multiple... I think it's gonna be, like, three parts. There's not a lot to go over, but there's, like, a lot of code. Yeah. We're, we're making a time vote plugin. Basically, what that's gonna allow you to do is vote for the time. Whether it be day to night or night to day. Whatever you... Whatever you wanna do. Alright, let's get into it. Let's get into uh, IntelliJ here. So, first things first, inside of here, let's just go ahead and set up our pom.xml. We're gonna be using Maven for this uh, series. Uh, you can go ahead and use a jar, uh, just don't make a Maven project, um, just make a Java project. But for this, I think it is just simpler to use Maven because we don't need to access anything outside of the normal API. So, we're gonna go ahead and add our repositories. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna copy and paste this from their site. There's no point in trying to remember this by heart. I mean, you can if you want to, um, but it's just easily accessible online. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and grab the dependency. We're gonna be doing this in uh, spigot 1.15.2 or paper 1.15.2, paper spigot. Kind of. uh, let's go ahead and set up our main class now. So we're gonna go ahead and say Java class. So it'll be dev the source code dot timer. And then we'll say timer vote. All right, no, sorry. Time. All right, no, we'll say vote. We'll say vote dot time voter okay and now you, the reason I do it like that I don't create the package and create the class because you can just create the class inside the package by just adding the periods to it so it just is one layer that you don't have to go through which I think is just really nice all right so then this is gonna go ahead and extends Java plugin and our auto Imports is not turned on, so let's just go ahead and refresh our Maven over here. Go ahead and see re import all Maven projects. And now we get Java plugin. So if that happens to you where you don't get all the import and extends Java doesn't work, just go ahead and refresh your imports there and it should go ahead and correct that issue. Okay. So uh, we're going to set up a few uh, variables uh, before we get started here. We're going to go ahead and have a private. I do have the, the notes and code over here on this monitor. So when I'm looking here, I'm typing for you guys. When I'm looking here, I'm viewing my code. Now, a lot of you guys might say, oh, wow, this is all scripted. Why why aren't you just doing it You know, live? It's way easier and a lot more simple for me to copy code that I've already written. One, because I know it works and I don't have to try to figure out and debug it in the video, which will save you guys a lot of time. And so we're just gonna keep going. So. And you guys are getting free code. You're getting a free plugin off this, so fight me. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and say, we don't need that to be final. We're gonna go ahead and create a set of UUIDs, and this is going to be a set of no votes. So no vote, and this is gonna equal a new hash set. There we go. Let's go ahead and import that. Let's duplicate this line. This is going to be yes vote. And then let's go ahead and create a public boolean uh chat disabled we're gonna actually skip over this part this is just a feature that i so th the backstory on this plugin is this was a plugin that was created for our smpmc server which sadly has fallen to the depths of despair and failure um so that's why we have this but we, we don't we don't actually need that so then we're gonna go ahead and say public int time to vote so basically how long players will have to cast their vote then we're going to go ahead and say public public boolean and this is going to be vote 
active. We can actually change this to is vote active. Then let's just go ahead and have a public int vote delay. So how long you have to wait for the next vote to be able to cast. So basically you can't vote it tonight, vote it today, vote it tonight, vote it today, vote it tonight, back to back. Then let's go ahead and have a public instant last vote. So this is gonna be the time of the last vote. We're also gonna be creating a utilities class. Uh, oh, I think our project level is not high enough. Yeah. So let's change that to 11. All right, so we have our public instant last vote. And now we're gonna go ahead and create our utilities class, public util, or vote util, and this is gonna be vote util. And then let's just go ahead and create this class. There we go. And now the next thing is we're just gonna go ahead and insert our methods. And we're gonna get on enable and on disable. I like to rotate these around because, well, I do. So we'll put that first. And then in our on enable, let's just go ahead and get the configuration. So this dot get config and options, copy defaults. Oops, nope. Copy defaults, true. And then we're gonna go ahead and save this configuration. Okay. So now let's go ahead and set up a couple variables. So we don't have our config set up yet. So it might seem a little weird, but we'll just go ahead and copy this and we'll paste it over. So in our resources, let's go ahead and create a new file and we'll call this config.yml. And then we also wanna make our plugin.yml in here as well. So let's do that. Okay, so now we have our two classes or our two files. So our config here is going to have disable chat while voting. We can actually get rid of this because we're not going to be doing that. So we can get rid of that. So time to vote is how long the players have to vote in seconds. Vote delay is in minutes. Well, we should actually say is how long between votes. And then we'll say in minutes. Okay, and then in our plugin.yml, I will also just copy this over because there's, yeah, it's just easy. So our name, time vote. This is going to be, oh, that is the same. This is time voter though. API version, our project version, which is gonna take it from our pom.xml. Uh, pom and so we have to do a couple things before that'll actually work, but for now that works. Then we have our commands, which is time vote and the alias is TV. So let's go ahead and skip over that. Okay, so now in our pom.xml, we wanna set up a few build things. Uh, you can go ahead and just pause the video and copy and paste this. Basically all I'm doing is just setting the exporter and then just allowing it so I can use my pom.xml version as my plugin version. So let's just go ahead and copy that. Let's go to our pom.xml. Oh, I'm already in it. And let's make some room and let's just paste. So the build. Plugins, plugin, our plugin is going to be Apache Maven plugins, Maven compiler plugin. Source is going to be eight. You can change this to whatever yours actually is going to be. So yours might be 14. So whatever yours is, just go ahead and replace it. And then this is where we're getting our um, resources for, for the pom.xml or for the version. <laughs> and that's pretty much all we're gonna have to touch inside the pom.xml so we can just pretty much permanently close that. We're not gonna need it really anymore. Um, so let's go ahead and close it over here as well so we don't get confused. Let's close that, let's close that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and set these values. So we don't need chat disabled because we already did it. So time to vote. That is going to equal this get config, and then this is going to be get boolean and the string path is going to be time dash to dash vote. And that is literally just what we have written in our config.yml time dash to dash vote. You can set this up however you guys want. And let's close this off. Oh, did I, uh... oh, this is not a billion. Sorry, this is an int, get int. And now the next one we have to do is go ahead and get vote delay. And this is gonna equal this dot get config. 
dot get int, and this is going to be vote dash delay. And then we'll do one more thing here where we're going to set up our vote util. Well, we're going to do more things, but just in this particular setup here. And this is going to equal a new vote util. And we'll go ahead and cast this main class in, and we'll build that constructor there. And then we'll go ahead and say private time voter plugin. And you guys can do this however you want to. I just like doing it this way. This dot plugin equals plugin. Works for me, it might not work for everybody else. So feel free to do it however you wish. Okay, and a couple more things inside of here before we finish off. Uh, first on our on disable, let's just go ahead and clear the no vote. And let's clear the yes vote. Only on disable though. Uh, I mean, we'll clear it in other times, but for now, we'll just do it on disable. Uh, and let's go ahead and register our events class, which we also have not made yet, but we will be making here shortly. So get plugin manager, register events, and this is going to be a new vote event. It's going to be this and this, this being the main class. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and say private time voter plugin. Plugin, this dot plugin equals plugin. So now we have, we can close our config. We're not gonna need that again. At least I don't think. So we have our classes here and now we have one more class that we need to go ahead and make and that is going to be the command. So this is gonna be the nice git command. It's gonna be time vote. I'm getting an email from Oracle. This is gonna be set executor and it's gonna be a new time vote command. We're also gonna pass in this main class and this, oops, sorry, we don't need the comma this. And let's go ahead and create that class. And now we have this, and then let's just go ahead and say private time voter plugin. Pretty redundant, I know, but we're just getting this all set up. Uh, I know we're probably about 10 minutes into this video for you guys, possibly more, uh, but we're just getting everything set up. And possibly in the next video, we'll actually start diving into all the nitty gritty of all of this. So let's go ahead and impl implement methods. And then we have all of our stuff there. And then let's just return this true right now. And then one last thing, you notice in the beginning we made these private. Um, and the reason for that is because we don't want to allow people to, or we don't want to accidentally set a new hash set for whatever reason. Obviously in this particular case, we know exactly what we're doing. Um, so the odds of us setting it are unlikely, but it's better to just do it this way. So let's go ahead and if you're on IntelliJ, you can go ahead and click all insert. And then we can go ahead and create a constructor. Oops, sorry, not a constructor, a getter. And then let's just do it for no vote and yes vote, which you guys can't see the second window that pops up, but here it is. And so now we have our get vote and get yes vote or get no vote and get yes vote. So I think that'll do it for this video. We got a lot set up in our main class here. So basically our main class is pretty much set up and ready to go. And in the next video, we will start jumping into some of the utility, the command, and the vote event. So thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.